And after the debate, they saw that he was not going to defeat Donald Trump. There's sort of a new buzz about her, especially with Jim Clyburn saying if Biden doesn't run, he will back the vice president. Uh, what do you make of all that? I think it's worth noting that all of this desire to oust Biden is happening only among the media and other top Democrats. Mm -hmm. You are not seeing a groundswell calling for change from Democrat voters. Again, they just had a primary election. Mm -hmm. You just are seeing this, right? The, the primary election was, was rigged, right? In 2016, the primary election was rigged to make Hillary Clinton the Democratic nominee. So she got answers to questions from CNN, unlike all the other candidates. So the primary elections for candidate for, for president in the Democratic Party have been largely rigged. They just overwhelmingly chose this man to be their nominee. And now there is growing... Uh, grassroots opposition to Joe Biden running as the Democratic nominee. Nominee, And now the media are acting like there's like basically that that doesn't matter. They don't feel confident in Biden. They want to replace him. And you have a media who are claiming that they were lied to because they think it would be better. They, like they're willing to they're willing to look stupid. So one of the major themes of this show is the importance of situation. And this is a great test whether you can take this theory and, and apply it to worlds where you don't know nearly as much as the experts. So the dominant perspective of political experts all, all last week was that Joe Biden cannot be replaced as nominee for the Democratic Party. And I saw the situation was so dire that uh, Joe Biden will be forced to drop out. So perhaps this theory is more valuable than expertise in many different areas.